welcome beautiful summer's day today and what could be better than staying indoors listening to records that's what i'm planning on doing and i've got four new pickups well three pre-owned pickups one brand new from two different websites i'm going to show you and the first one is a purchase from amazon i say it's a purchase i think i've got this for free i'll tell you what happened my best friend sent me a gift voucher for my birthday i thought well yeah i'm going to put this towards an album definitely that's i'm collecting more vinyl records lately than anything else and there's still plenty of stuff that i want and i found something that i wanted so ordered it, used the £25 gift voucher and then I had to put another, it was like maybe six or seven pound towards the album as I think it was around 32, 33 pound. Then a couple of hours later after making the order on Amazon, it was a marketplace order by the way, so it wasn't Amazon Direct, it was one of the verified marketplace sellers. I got an email from Amazon a couple of hours or so later saying, oh sorry, what you ordered was out of stock. We've refunded your gift credit and what you paid instantly. And when I logged on Amazon, it said it'd been cancelled. The 25 pound gift voucher was back in my account right away which was good so i thought well i'll just order something else so i ordered another album from a different marketplace seller on amazon one i am familiar with and that i've used before uh, that album's not come yet and even if it had i wouldn't be showing it in this video as i'm deliberately saving that for a different video but then the other day this turned up and this was actually what i originally ordered that got cancelled about two hours later it's Madonna's 1997, I think this came out, or was it 98? It was either 97 or 98, Ray of Light. Now this has been high on my wants list for ages. This will be the most recent reissue of it, which I think was 2019. It's been relatively difficult to find for a good price, for a long time, for me anyway. And to not only get this after looking for a half decently priced copy for ages, but also seemingly getting it for free, there's a bit of confusion because I had to get in touch with the other marketplace seller who was supposed to be sending me my other album. It's coming from Switzerland, I think that, so it should have come here by now, but there might be some delays, I don't know, but I'm not worried about that too much. I don't know why I got this when I didn't cancel the order, they cancelled it fairly promptly. Free Madonna album and the one I've been wanting the most as well. Ray of Light, this was a bit of a return to form for Madonna. Um, the lead single was the excellent Frozen. Also the title track Ray of Light was a big single off here and probably I would say my favourite Madonna single of all time is on this album as well, The Power of Goodbye. Uh, it's still sealed, I've not opened it and listened to it yet. It's not coloured vinyl, I don't even think this is a gatefold edition, I could be wrong but I've got a feeling it isn't. It'll be 180 gram vinyl, probably remastered, but don't quote me on it. And yeah, this is just the Madonna album I've been wanting the most to uh, fill a hole in that particular collection. I've got all of Madonna's 1980s studio albums. I've also got the Immaculate Collection, the You Can Dance kind of remix mini album. And um, it's the 90s albums that still got some holes in them. Well, I say some. The only 90s album now that I need is Erotica, which is another one that, although it has been reissued a few times over the years, at the moment it's just silly money everywhere, and that's usually for pre-owned aftermarket editions as well. But um, if I can get Erotica, which by all accounts isn't Madonna's strongest work, but I still want it for the collection, if I can get that at some point, then I'll be fairly satisfied with my Madonna collection because my most recent Madonna studio album is Music from 2000. Music 2000. Which I got some months ago, it might have even been late last year. Although I kind of think about maybe collecting all her work, it was really the 80s and 90s that I was most interested in because that's the period of Madonna I enjoy the most. And this was right up there, number one on my wants list regarding Madge, and finally got it. And it looks like, unless there's some problems with my other gift voucher order, this looks like it was completely free because they said it was out of stock. They refunded me, but then they said it anyway. Great news, if so. Right then, so we move away from Madonna and away from Amazon onto three Discogs purchases. 
One of them will be a mail opening for two albums, which we'll do after I show you this from a Discog seller that came a couple of days or so ago. And it's another one for the Erasure collection. This is their, I think, fifth studio album from, ooh, it'll be either 1990 or 1991, this chorus. As you know, I've said it before in recent videos, Erasure is a collection I'm really thinking about focusing on and building up. And um, I'm plucking some holes here with some original pressings, or thereabouts original, I think, from Discogs. We get into it and we can see a nice inner sleeve and standard black vinyl there, nothing much to look at. This wasn't expensive at all. I kept seeing this on Atlas Records website for some reason, I'm not entirely sure why. They're trying to sell a vinyl copy of Chorus for around 40 something pound and I don't quite understand why it's worth so much. This was like 5 99 and then about another four pound or so in postage, which is perfectly great, I'm happy to pay that for a decent album in very good condition all day long. Yeah, Erasure and Chorus. What's coming now? Well, I said I was filling some Erasure holes. Here's a couple more of them from a different Discog seller. I think the prices for both the albums in this package here were similarly good value. One about six pound, the other five pound, I think. And then something like four pound 80 in postage. Try to get in here safely. Yeah, it looks like this seller has packaged these well. They've come in protective outer sleeves. Just check I'm not chucking anything important out there. No, I just think it's extra cardboard. Fold my knife up now that I don't need it anymore. Safety first, kids. And let's have a look at these two albums. Oh, that's got some texture to it. Ah, yeah, I think he's separated. Say he, could be a she, but a lot of Discog sellers seem to be male. I'm not being sexist. Yeah, he seems to have separated these out. First album I'll show you is quite appropriately Erasure's debut studio album from, this'll be, ooh, 1985, Wonderland. And this was the first album, Andy Bell and Vince Clark, the first one they did together. Vince Clark, of course, it'd been a few years since he left Depeche Mode at this point, and then he collaborated with Alison Moye in the duo Yazoo, another act I'm thinking, because they've only released two albums anyway, I'm thinking of maybe getting into for my collection at some point. Then he also did a collaboration with Fergal Sharkey, that was The Assembly, but I don't think they released an album, I think it was just a single. And then he joined up with Andy Bell for Erasure, and they've been going for, you know, almost 40 years now. Uh, there again, original pressing, I think, or around the sort of original time anyway. Nice good quality outer sleeve there. As I said, the inner and the disc was separated out for safety in transit. There we are. Not a lot to see. No coloured vinyl here today. I can't remember which of these was like $5.99 and which was $4.99. I don't suppose it matters. But yeah, really nice clean copy of Wonderland there. The debut album from Erasure. This wasn't a massive seller. I think it was Erasure's second album that really established them as a high charting pop duo. But Wonderland still has some notable stuff on it. Ola Moore, for example, that was an Erasure single that although I don't think did particularly well at the time. It became a bit of a cult favourite with fans. And then the um, male-female duo Dollar famously covered that a couple of years or so later. But there we are, Erasure with their debut Wonderland. And finally, another one for the Erasure collection here means I've now got their first five studio albums, which will be ranging from 1985 to around 1990, 1991. And of course, that means I'm talking about The Circus. Oops. Disc was about to slide off there because of that protector. There again, feels really nice quality, this. Obviously being kept in good condition. Oh, look at that. <laughs> got a cutout. I didn't realise that. Really like the design of this sleeve. It's got a cutout so uh, one of these sides, I suppose you pick which side you want displayed on the front really as it's cut out. A or B. But there's the inner there. So yeah, I would say the circus from uh, it'll be 1986 or 87 will be Erasure's breakthrough album because it had higher charting singles on it than Wonderland did. 
there we are all the erasure albums on mute records by the way erasure have been on mute since year dot so we can slide it back in there that's how it looks I do like that, I like it when there's cutouts like that. Just makes things a bit more interesting, a bit more collectible as well. See, if I bought the remastered, more recent 180 gram reissue of this, I'm not even sure it'd have this cutout, to be honest. I've got a feeling it probably wouldn't. It's been kept in really, really nice condition as well. As have the other two Razor albums, and of course the Madonna LP, that's brand new and sealed anyway. So there we are three more erasure lps and now i've got the first five studio albums i've also got the last couple of studio albums that they've released in recent times as well so it's all the ones in between really that i've got to get now and they have just announced a brand new studio album that's coming out in august as well which is like a bit of a surprise impromptu thing i'll no doubt be pre-ordering that very soon as i say i'm intending on building up my erasure collection and getting all their studio albums at least i'm kind of thinking at the moment because i've already got a couple of their albums on cassette i'm considering maybe getting some of their mid to late 90s albums on tape as I reckon they're going to be pretty cheap on Discogs and maybe even eBay. It'll just be nice to get a few tapes for a change and then I'll probably end up getting more of the vinyl issues for more of the, you know, stuff from the 2010s where they weren't releasing anything on cassette anymore. But um, I'll decide upon that in due course, but there'll definitely be some more erasure to show you on the channel very soon. And, um, you know, hopefully one day some more Madonna as well. Well, nothing's better than free Madonna. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and special thanks go as they always do and always will to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons. My Patreon link is down in the description text box, also down there is my Facebook group link and a link for contents insurance from Urban Jungle. I'm going to go now, I think I'm going to get those Erasure albums listened to first. I'm uh, really excited about Ray of Light, as I said. Even more excited that it seems to be sent to me in error, but I don't want to be too smug about that because the album that I ordered to replace that hasn't turned up yet and I've had to chase it up a little bit, but I've been assured it'll be on its way soon. But I'll show you that in a different video and you'll see why I'm showing you that separately when it turns up anyway. Definitely more Erasure will be bought pretty soon and possibly on cassette, but I'm gonna decide on that over the next couple of days. Anyway, thanks for watching again and I do hope that you all will join me again next time for my next record collecting video. Cheers everyone. See ya! Tony, as a physicist, what do you think life will be like in the year 2000? I really don't know. I don't know. Do you think technology will play a much more integral role in music production, for instance? I don't know. We just don't know.